turns out, when I was cleaning out this area between the uh, bicuspid and the eye tooth, down here there's an abscess. What I know is that I go down here, and then it goes, starts going in fairly deep. This is a brush pick right here. What's happening is that I'm getting these big blobs coming out. What I need to do is keep going until there's no more blobs. So you can see how quickly it starts to bleed. That's because of the abscess. So what I'm going to do is hang and then just keep poking until there. Oh, down in there somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's between the teeth on the inside somewhere. See, so what I do now is I, is I bleed it out is what I do. Oh. Here. What I do is I bleed out the abscess. And since it looks like I got so much anyway, there's so much there. Uh. I don't even need to take the needle. I don't even need to take this thing out. Just, just keep, let it, just let it bleed. Cause, cause it's just, there's always more. So I know it's not gonna stop. Okay, so there's a large blob. Anything that's an abscess in there, I want, I want everything out. Absolutely everything. So, unfortunately, it's starting to get a little, a little late, but I just have to hang until I bleed this thing out. And then there's, you know, there's still some uh, calculus down there, but that's not the issue at this point. At this point, the, the issue is the abscess would be very foolish to stop before it bleeds out. That would be very, very foolish. If there's a few little bobs that are left behind, I can deal with that. But largely what I'd like to do is have all of the gigantic blobs bleed themselves out. I've been bleeding this thing out for about half an hour so far. Uh, I got lots of gigantic blobs. So the idea is that once I don't get any more gigantic blobs, then that's bled out. And this is the brush pick. It can go in fairly deep. I can also knock calculus off too. I'm really not worried at this point because largely what the issue here is is what turned out to be a fairly extreme situation. Okay, so what that means is that the first step is the major debridement. That's step number one. Then after that comes recovery. The trauma is building up, okay? So What's going to happen is this thing is going to hurt, is what's going to happen. Okay, that's still big. So that's a that's another large blob. Once I go in there, and you know, I stay in there and I don't get any gigantic blobs, then that means it's bled out. Hmm, it's not that deep. Only, uh, hmm, I guess it's deep enough. I'm not sure what that is. I'm guessing that's about 10 millimeters. Other blob, smaller. Not so gigantic. See, not quite as bloody. See, once you get the gigantic blobs, then most of the other stuff will come out easily enough. Large, but not gigantic. And at some point, you can just say forget it, okay? Because, you know, I'm going to go in that abscess again, because I, I have a pretty good idea where it is now. So, you know, it's not to say that this thing 
it's not going to get revisited. It will get revisited. But if it's got gigantic blogs, that's that's obviously not good. I think the logic there is that if I make a passage for the abscess, it's like a tunnel. It'll just leak out. It'll it'll push its way out the tunnel. I took it just like a drain. Right, let's check it out. Okay, these are just a few of the giant blobs from the abscess. There's about three or four giant blobs here. Previously, I got out about, I must have gotten out 20 or more of these gigantic things. Okay, so anyway, that's it. Okay, I cleaned this area out mostly with the sickle. I got massive amounts of calculus from the back of the my cuspid. And then it turns out, as it goes in deeper, it turns out there's an abscess in there. Now I'm liberating the abscess. This is more or less the first major debridement of this area. It's still pretty dirty, but relative to where it is, you know, so much of the stuff was removed, it's not even funny. Just how much stuff got, got removed. So then, uh, I give it some time to recover. In this case, I think like like a few weeks would be appropriate. You know, if I wanted to, if I really wanted to, I, I might be able to go back in a week. But I I think most likely it's going to be it's going to start to get heavily traumatized over the next couple of days. So it doesn't make that much sense to go back. Wait till it does a better job of recovering. I can also use a needle irrigation to remove any stuff that becomes readily available. My goal is to relieve the, let's call it the exudate, as it recovers. This is my big opportunity, so I, it makes no sense to give it up. What makes the most sense is to, is to go as long as I can, as long as I can keep getting stuff, as long as I'm not up all night, which I don't think I will be. Get it so the major blood gives itself up, and then so you know it's it's clean enough that it will be able to recover reasonably well. Because you know there's still a lot of infection there, which is going to uh, get in the way of it recovering properly. But the more that I get out now, the better it's going to recover.